I appreciate you joining. I hope you are doing well. Dandelion root kills cancer cells in lab tests. The roots, leaves, and flowers of the dandelion plant are a potent and healthy herbal medicine. Although folks might think those yellow dots popping up in their landscape are just nuisance weeds. Not so, as reported by Reset.me. The use of the dandelion plant as a healing agent predates written records, but it is understood that the Greeks and the Chinese used dandelion compounds to aid in digestion and as a liver tonic and diuretic. Traditional herbalists, both in the East and the West, have utilized the properties of the dandelion for liver support and as a blood purifier. It is this blood purifying action that intrigued Canadian researchers at the University of Windsor to pursue whether dandelion roots could be effective for individuals suffering from end-stage blood cancer. The team experimented by applying dandelion root extracts into petri dishes on blood drawn from a leukemia patient and lab rats. They discovered that the dandelion root extract was effective in inducing apoptosis or cell suicide in tumor cells while leaving healthy cells alone. This remarkable outcome garnered approval to test their dandelion root protocol on 30 Canadian cancer patients. It is the first time in Canada that a natural extract has been approved for utilizing, utilization in a clinical trial. The lead researcher is Dr. Sierram Pandey a chem biochemistry professor at Windsor who discovered the power of dandelions from an oncologist whose own patients had had enough chemotherapy and chose to drink dandelion tea instead and lived. Dr. Pandey shares his unusual introduction to dandelions, a simple explanation of what cancer is, and some of his initial thoughts about the clinical trial in a TEDx presentation. I watched this video and this presentation is a must-see. Dr. Pandey gives very detailed explanations for cancer and natural alternatives. I will post the link for this in the description along with the detailed article. Each body is unique and all cancer treatment decisions are personal and made only after sound deliberation. A combination of clean food, nutritional and immune building process, among many other alternative medicine treatments, may be required to ultimately win an individual's battle against cancer. Yet it is generally agreed that chemotherapy is a shotgun blast of toxicity that kills cells indiscriminately and cripples the immune system. Your backyard dandelion's roots specifically kill only the cancerous cells and enhances the immune system. Dandelions are not toxic and they also offer a bunch of vitamins and minerals including calcium, magnesium, potassium, and vitamin A, K, B6, and B12. Herbalists who live in America are not allowed to treat cancer patients, says author and internationally traveled herbalist, Demetra Clark, who has taught thousands throughout her Heart of Herbs Herbal School. Dandelion is used enthusiastically by Clark as a supportive therapy with whatever cancer protocol her client has chosen. If a client has chosen chemotherapy, Clark says that dandelion will support the liver and help the body detoxify. She also says that dandelion leaves put into smoothies can help with mouth sores and nausea. The dandelion can boost one's appetite and also give the digestive juices flowing. Clark believes that the available beginning evidence clearly shows that the dandelion can enhance the immune system and support the liver and kidneys with no toxicity 
and a high amount of nutrition. She encourages children and pregnant women to use the benefits available from the simple but profound dandelion. Have you ever wondered why are there so many dandelions? Perhaps nature is trying to give us, all of us, a gentle yellow immune boost. Glad to have you watching. Good day and good health.